I only had David and Lily. You took everything away from me. Who sent you flowers? What do you mean there's no record of who sent the arrangement? Take a deep breath. No one knows where you live. Where's your ring? How come you haven't been wearing it? She's messing with me. I made one mistake. There isn't a day that goes by that... Tessa. Goodbye. You're worthless, Julia. You'll always be worthless. Tessa, why are you here? David? You should never have brought her here. I'm done with crazy. You gave it all to her! Right in front of me! Oh my god, she sent you a hand. Miss Banks, the man is dead. Found in your home. You see what this looks like, right? Tessa, she was the one behind all of this. Enough is enough. Are you threatening me? Yes, I'm threatening you. This is my life. It's mine! <laughs> Rosario Dawson can fight everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Rosario, so you played Julia, mm -hmm. career oriented woman who finds her prince charming, mm -hmm. finds out that his ex wife is batshit crazy. Yeah. But what I love about it is that they also touch on domestic abuse. Mm -hmm. and I know that you're also part of V Day. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about years. that. Yeah, no, it's been an amazing journey. It's um, working with Eve Ensler. She wrote the Vagina Monologues. Yes. And I've been working with her and, and loving her since my early 20s. That's and amazing. I think about it like we look back and, you know, it's a Kerry Washington, all these remarkable people. We've all like kind of grown up under this um, umbrella of love, this, you know, the vagina love, warrior yeah. love <laughs> that Eve Ensler is in the world. And, <laughs> you know, and it's it's really, you know, helped me to find a lot of my voice, you know, and and, and talking for my community and the people I grew up around. I mean, this this world of this story is not unfamiliar. Right. I have so whether it's divorce or just regular breakups or whatever it is, there's just people aren't really nice to each other oftentimes. Right. And we're they're not very honest with each other and they right. really hurt people are hurting. Right. And you know, it's it's um it's really important to know that there's people out there maybe who are not your friends, who are not your family, right. you know, people who are sometimes just not capable of being there with you, for you in right. that moment, that there are strangers out there who are willing to help. And, you know, I love that we got to really talk about that with Julia. Like, yeah. Julia is in a really particular place in her life, not because she has some perfect childhood right. or she has perfect access to everything or any of that stuff, but because she looked at the ugly in her life and right. she went and got help. Right. That right. helps. You right. know what I mean? Right. Like, address it. You can't, you, you got can't a man in the mirror. You got to right. look at it and deal. And she's done it. And it's amazing to see, a, like, her being pushed into this corner, how she's able to use those tools to fight back. I love it. And what I love about her character is one in one part of the scene she says that I didn't want you to see me like this. I didn't want you to view me as weak. Mm -hmm. And I think that I also am a survivor of an abusive relationship, mm -hmm. mentally and emotionally abusive. Mm -hmm. And that's a misconception because men don't deal with those things. Supposedly. Oh, they do often. But yeah, but they mm -hmm. do. But I love that you said that, or that the character said that because mm -hmm. it's it, it's hard to talk about, you know, when you're yeah. getting with the new person. Because you're like, I don't want you to think you can play me like that. I don't mm -hmm. want you to think you can do the same thing. You Not know, just that, but also that I don't want, I feel, I don't want to feel like a fraud. Like this right. is new and fragile for me. The right. majority of my life, I have been a victim. Right. And now I am saying that is not who I am. I'm reclaiming my story. I'm, I'm, I'm changing the narrative. But if I tell you that the majority of my life was I was that person, you're gonna be like, so how fragile is this new person that right. I that I fell in love? Did I fall in love with a fake mask? Right. You know, are these some nice little words that you learned at your little AA meeting or something? Right, right. Like, is <laughs> is this all gonna fall apart if we if you hit a wall? You know right. what I mean? So I think it's that it's almost the shame of who she was, but also just the fragility that we oftentimes feel like. I have not had a good life. Do I deserve this happiness right now? Right. Like we, we stop it from ourselves. Right. You know what I mean? And and that's really remarkable is to see that she's like, you know what? No, I'm not a victim anymore. And I'm beyond a survivor. Right. I, I, I deserve conquered. to thrive. I've conquered. I'm in a different place. <laughs> I love that. You know, that. and hear me roar. It's beautiful. Uh, I love that. Mm -hmm. Why are you doing this? I don't know what you mean. Yes, you do. Okay, this is really difficult for everyone, but it doesn't have to actually be this hard. I'm not doing anything. Julia, I am simply living my life with my family. If you're having a hard time, I suggest you look in the mirror. No, I know exactly what it is that you are trying to do. And I am not gonna let you put Lily in the middle of this anymore. Are you threatening me? Yes. 
that mm -hmm. and your your fight with Tessa. Mm -hmm. How 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 many times do you guys have to go and do that before you actually execute it? Oh, we had that. We got to do that over <laughs> like two days, basically, which was really <laughs> awesome. And we kept kind of coming back to it because we have to reset it. So we'd go and do something else horrible to each other, and then we'd yeah. come back and fight each other again, and then we'd do something else really terrible, and then we'd come back and fight each other again. <laughs> and it was really funny because it's like you know, it's Cheyenne and Asia are. Um, Katie and my uh, stunt women, mm -hmm. and she's been Katie's been working with Cheyenne for she was fourteen, and Asia's worked with me on the, all these Marvel shows, so she's now been on all these different things with me. So we were all just having a laugh, and like, no, you fight her next, no, I'll fight, fight her next, next. and no, yeah. you two fight, and like we, me and Katie would then watch, and then go, I'm going in, you know, like it just felt like some weird WrestleMania thing. It was really awesome. I love it. I love mm -hmm. it. Thank you so much for being Thank on you. Black Street TV. Thank you. Uh